Logan was a faithful retreat goer. Each year, Logan was one of the first ones to sign up, and he was always that faithful retreat goer. During his junior year, though, I noticed that there was somebody else who was going on these retreats. <laughs> and I, yeah, and Logan, being actually being an avid skier, if you know Logan, he's a very good skier. Uh, he, he actually switched over to snowboarding one year in order to spend more time with this girl. And this girl, of course, was Maris, and uh, her presence on these trips made them even better. Talk to me, for the lungs of the air, your heart is I was sitting in, in our room and Logan, and Logan barges in one night, and he plops on the couch, and he's like, sweeping declaration, okay? I'm done with girls. Like, I'm gonna go buy a cabin in Colorado and just chill by myself. Like, that's the plan, okay? I kid you not, three weeks later, I'm sitting in the same couch and Logan walks out of her bedroom all dressed up and I'm like, dude, what's going on right now? So I'm like, dude, come on, give me the details. And he's like, going on a date. I'm like, what, you're going on a date? Come on, dude. He was so anxious to get that door. I'm like, okay, I'll send you off. And little did I know, I sent him off on his last first date. These two are full of joy and they give off a sense of peace when you're with them. It's almost impossible not to laugh when you're around them. Their passion and love is expressed loud and clear in their humble spirit. It's a rare gift to be able to be completely present in life's smallest moments. But these two embody it so well. No, I <laughs> no. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> You're beautiful. <laughs> you look good too. You look so good. Yeah, you do this man. Maris, ever since God placed you in my life, you have never failed to brighten up my days and put me in the best mood. I always knew how supportive you were, even from our days in photography class. You always laughed at every bad joke that I made. And if it was actually a funny joke, you would give me a fist bump. <laughs> no. Here I am. My little girl. She's all grown up. Don't make me cry. <laughs> I never imagined that I would marry someone who loves me the way that you do. It also makes me laugh until I cry the way that you do. We both know that I am the most indecisive person on earth, but one thing that I've always been certain of is my love for you. This is by far the easiest decision of my life. I prayed for you long before we met. I knew God would send me the best wife, better than I could ever imagine, and he definitely followed through. 
You truly make me the best version of me that I could possibly be. You taught me how to love myself when I didn't know how. <laughs> you truly shine the light of Jesus on everyone that you encounter. When I first heard about Logan and her getting serious, I was like, okay, I need to sit down with this guy and make sure he'll always be there for Maris. I was a bit skeptical of a church camp crush, but after seeing the way the two of them interacted and getting to know Logan better, I could tell I was witnessing something special. Since the first time I met you, I wanted to marry you. <laughs> Ask any one of my friends freshman year because they heard all about it. <laughs> Little did I know just a few years later that dream would become a reality.